So I've come across this article by Runner's World and it features caffeine. It almost works like an advert for a particular coffee house. It talks about caffeine being a pickup for morning runs, improving endurance, maybe once or twice in a week, or could improve race performances as a one-off. Fails to mention the risks associated with caffeine, the trap that I've fallen into myself. Caffeine assists heart rate through the adrenergic system. It stimulates cortisol release from the pituitary gland. This means that cortisol release will assist recovery. But if you push too hard in overtraining, you can push again and again on the door of cortisol. You could start to exhaust your adrenergic system and also leave yourself glycogen depleted. In the meantime, you need a pickup so you use caffeine and the chronic consumption of caffeine can mask overtraining for a short period of time. You may see improved results, but after that you become depleted. How can you overcome this effect? Well, first of all, you need to remove caffeine, therefore, from your diet and then slowly feed it back in. Remove it for two months and slowly build it back in. Never use it as a crutch. Stimulant for a one-off race, maybe a one-off session, but don't be consuming it day after day. The symptoms of overtraining include being irritable, lethargic, having something called nocturnal diuresis. In other words, you're getting up, you're going to the loo in the middle of the night, time and time again. You may be going in six, seven times during the night. If so, you're probably overtrained. You'll have poor sleep, night sweats, fading in and out of consciousness. It will eventually manifest in poor races, poor cycle races, poor running races, or poor weightlifting. You won't be able to reach those peaks that you were reaching as overtraining started to set in and using caffeine to supplement yourself. If this happens to you, you need to therefore cut down the intensity, cut down those exertions in the gym, cut down the anaerobic work if you're a cyclist or if you're a runner. Look at the aerobic base, look at lighter weights with increased reps or if you're a runner, if you're a cyclist, look at keeping your mileage as it was but removing those speed sessions, those anaerobic sessions, replacing them with, start off with easy runs, build up to moderate, then start putting the tempo. This is a process where you should be easy running for two weeks and then slowly feed in, preferably over six weeks or more to fully recover. Finally, glycogen depletion can happen because caffeine will exert this adrenergic effect. Cortisol will continually release glycogen from skeletal muscles and the liver, leaving you depleted. Therefore, weightlifters, cyclists, runners, you all need to increase your calorific intake over a sustained period of time to replenish those muscles. And the added bonus would be that you'd have improved endurance from the uh, aerobic work and through the glycogen supplementation, through the improved diet, don't ignore fats, increase all of the components in your diet to recover from overtraining and of course if you're lifting this would improve size and then you look to go through a slimming stage afterwards. Some of the dangers around caffeine that should have been mentioned by Runner's World.